position uh, is gaining so strong support from everywhere. So uh, it will be very close race. In general, the people uh, has reached the mentality of uh, uh, a, a very democratic mentality. Yeah. Uh, so long that uh, we have a, a fair and uh, equal elections, uh, uh, fair and clean. Sorry, fair and clean elections. Then uh, I think uh, we will get the right people to govern. No public. The people are gaining our uh, I mean, uh, support from the government especially the poor people or middle income. So this is something that we should appreciate. And I hope in future, even after the election, uh, the government should continue to help people with low income, maintain, maintain and uh, come up with more policies like that to assist the community. I think this is what the community wants. Yeah, each of them have different stories. Some of them talk about the recent government policies, the benefits, why are they doing that you know, in return of the election. Yeah, a lot of comments from different parties, yes. This will be the, the most interesting, um, what you call, election we have in Malaysia throughout this independence. Well, it has been coined as the mother of all battles, whatever you want to call it, the 13th general election. is one of the most interesting and is envisaged to be one of the most attractive and also the battle of all battles. With me to share in this excitement is Star Executive Editor Dato Wong Sai Wan. Welcome. Hi, Dato. Why do you call it Mother of All Battles? Well, for the first time in the history of Malaysia, uh, we have an effective two party system and they will be fighting on almost equal strength. So if you look in terms of it as a war, they've got the same firepower and for the first time, Politically, we will see people, uh, politicians, uh, actually working very hard. Hmm. You mean it was not equal before this, uh, in the previous general elections, especially 2008? Uh, previously, even 2008, it has never been equal. Uh, in 2008, although it was Barisan National's worst performance uh, ever, uh, it was not a defeat by an enemy. Hmm. Uh, it was more of a self-inflicted loss coupled with a perfect storm. Mm. Uh, it was a time when uh, Barisan were quarrelling among themselves within their own component parties and against each other. And then at the same time, uh, you had this disenchantment with the slogans of 2004. In 2004, Barisan won too well, won 91% of the seats. It was only natural that there was going to be a backlash. So when all the things occurred at the same time, 2008 was just a perfect storm. Right. It was not a battle. Mm -hmm. So was it a defeat? Was it a loss? In 2008, it was a loss. Pure loss because Barisan lost the seats. It's, it's like, a, like a football match where a big huge team playing with a smaller one. Mm -hmm. uh, the smaller one sneaked in a goal and it was not stopped by the big football team. In this case, the big football team in Barisan. Mm -hmm. uh, so they lost the match. Mm -hmm. uh, they were not defeated by a stronger opponent. Mm -hmm. But this time, in G13, it will be a huge battle. Do we see that excitement already happening? Is the momentum there? I think that the momentum will pick up even stronger as, as, uh, as we go on. Uh, there are loads and loads of people talking about how, what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. There are even people cancelling their, their leave mm -hmm. uh, to ensure that they'll be, they'll be there for the mm -hmm. elections. A lot of people are looking at the 13th general election as well as a one which will propel change. In what context do you see this change happening? I think if you can see the changes now, uh, previously um, the ruling parties would dictate uh, on everything from the issues right until uh, the date of the general election. Uh, if we look at it, there is less and less time left for the... Uh, it's no longer a surprise. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of 40 days we'll have an election done and dusted. Never has the history of Malaysia gone in that direction. We are definitely watching for that. Dato, we'll yes. take a short break. We'll be right back with Star Executive Editor Dato Wong Sai Wan. Stay with us.
are back from the break. GE13, the run up. We've been talking to Star Executive Editor, Dato Wong Sai Wan. And uh, we have been talking about Mother of All Battles. That is the term that's been used here. Dato, uh, we've got a lot of feedbacks as well from um, the Facebook and also Twitter. One question that was actually posed was um, how do we envisage or what do we expect from uh, the 13th general election as far as BN's chances is we concerned? Need, we, need, we need to look back uh, five years. Uh, I think after the 2008 elections, every single political party has been trying to register voters. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2008, only about 8 million people turned up for elections to vote on election day. This year, registered voters number more than 13 million. Okay, it is, and this is out of 16 million people eligible to vote. Never have the history of Malaysia seen so many people interested. Uh, it's estimated 2.4, 2.5 million new voters. Uh, if all 2.5 new million new voters yeah. come in. They will be kingmakers. They will decide. So these old, are the new voters. The old foggies mm. will have to stand aside and watch the young new voters come in. Mm. And this is what makes it very exciting because nobody knows for sure where the young voters will actually cast their votes. Mm -hmm. So we can go both ways here. Yeah. Uh, one businessman was telling me that none of this twenty-one year old and above to about thirty-five have ever been through a recession. So right. economy will not be a main factor. Mm -hmm. So they will look at things un, un, uh, unblinkered and they will look at it purely in terms of politics. Yeah. So and the policies. main factor here is it's not the economy. It will it will be a fight. Right. It will be a fight between two parties and they have to sell it to these guys, these two point five million people. So hardcore politics. Hardcore politics. Right. And uh there will be a perfect distinction between urban and rural voters. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that the fight will be for the semi-urban areas. Mm -hmm. And that will where these are the people who will be the kingmakers. They will decide. An interesting thing is that there, there have been several studies and it's estimated that 15% of the registered voters are undecided. Um, so they're sitting on the fence. They're on the fence, and um, probably until the last minute that they will make this yes. decision. Yeah. Fifteen percent is a fantastic number because it is out fifteen percent out of thirteen million is more than two million. Mm. Uh, the difference between the votes between Pakatan and Barisan in two thousand eight was only two hundred and ninety five thousand votes. Right. So where are where's the area? Where, where are these voters sitting? Uh, that. It's the million dollar question. <laughs> uh, many politicians I've spoke to are afraid that they don't know where they are. Oh. And that's what's going to be interesting for us to watch over the next 40 days. That's right. Okay. Another question that also popped up was, of course, whether uh, we can see a free, fair, clean. Yeah, the word mm. used here is clean. There was uh, uh, someone we spoke to as well, and he said he wants to see a clean election. Yeah. Well, uh, historically, the, the the election in Malaysia has always been on a very urgent manner, which makes fixing practically impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, we count our ballots Even immediately. Even though there has been allegations, yeah. allegations yeah. but we, we count our ballots immediately. Mm -hmm. But never mind, in 2013, this year, uh, the ballot boxes will be in a transparent plastic box. There will be agents at every counting centre. Okay. Uh, we are using indelible ink. And the most interesting thing is this, is that there will be no objections, mm -hmm. no recounts, everything will be done by a court. Mm. And it will be a f because of the, the, the speed at which Malaysia carries out its polling. We are not staggered over three days or four which is days. very quick. Yeah. We, we, we do yeah. the counting and it's, it's known within 8 hours or 9 hours. And, and, and this, when, when you do things fast, it, it's quite difficult to fix. It, 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 will, be quite, it will be fairly clean. I, I like the, the way uh, many Barisan politicians point out that historically, this is that for all the claim of fixes and all that, 
There has been eight changes of state governments in mm. Malaysia mm -hmm. in this 50 year history. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is nothing new in Malaysia. But because we always associate uh, uh, victory of, by, on one side as in a big manner, yeah. we tend to forget about the, the victories by, 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 by others as well. So, of course, it's one of the most exciting. We yes, need to wrap yes. up the show. Um, Dr. Wong Sai Wan, Executive Editor of the Star, thank you so much for your feedback. You. And this has been coined as the mother of all, all battles. battles. We'll watch for that. Yeah, yes. that's all. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Thank Thanks. You.